Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we were exploring some more of Central Hyrule. We also got, I believe, last time we got the, um, the Hero's Tunic, or the Champion's Tunic, so... We have that now. But now, we're gonna head over to this shrine that's very close to Hyrule Castle. So close that we can see guardians that are floating with little searchlights with them, on them. So you want to stay away from the searchlights. Stay out of the searchlights. This is probably not recommended again this this shrine just yet, but it's it's probably fine if I just avoid everything and run. I'm pretty sure I can get this shrine now without having to be too worried about stuff. As long as I dodge better than what I'm doing right now. Oh my goodness. Ow! Oh my goodness, that's not good. Why did that not break my shield and then just let me go. Oh my goodness. No, no! Yeah, maybe I won't get that shrine just now. Oh my goodness, I'm way back here. I still feel like I should be able to get that now. I still feel like I should be able to get that. Oh, there's a guardian right there. Okay, well, I, I think I'll just change that to a stamp for now, and let's head over here and start exploring the road. Well, here we are, and I might even get a, um horse out while I'm here. Probably gonna get out uh, Jack, since Jack's a little bit easier to handle. Uh, take horse. I could use John though. I haven't had John that much time. They're both at max things. Max max bond, so. John's wild. Uh, yeah, let me go with Jack, since Jack is gentle. Okay. Horse can't turn sharply. You're more likely to hit obstacles, so think before you ask your ho horse to sprint. Okay. Let's go. We only need to follow the road, so that makes things somewhat easy. And I shouldn't have to soothe too much. Since we have max bond. Oh my goodness, of course there's more stuff to fight. Just gonna ignore it if I can. Okay. Let's make a turn here. And get somewhat close to this shrine. I think I might have to swim to it, which is unfortunate, unless I can go round. No, that's definitely an island, so I need to swim across or something. Okay, where's a good spot to swim from? I don't really want to leave Jack over here, but I don't think I have much choice, unfortunately. So let's uh, make a make make our way across. Oh, there's a raft there. Well, I guess that would have been would have been good if it was on this side. Let's just go. Urgh, swim, swim, swim. There's a chest right there. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting to look in the water and see a chest right underneath me. Let me just grab that since it's not that far away. Oh, don't call, don't call, don't call. Purple Rippy. Yeah, Jack. Jack, don't come any closer. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Jack is able to come. Okay, well. So pretty in bloom. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it, and it's wonderful. Please feel free to look, to take a closer look. Don't just, uh, just don't step on them. Well, watch out for the flowers. And now I can probably also get rid of this stamp, so. But yes, this is a very particular shrine because we're not allowed to step on the flowers unless, uh, or else. No, 
You must not hurt the flowers. They are screaming out in pain. How many times have I, do I have to say it? Please treat the flowers with care. They're living things, you know. Have I saved? <laughs> just, just, just quickly. She seems to be getting a little bit mad. H have I saved recently? Let me just, just gonna do that. Okay. The other thing you can't do, is to do to them is just slash them. So many times. I've lost count of how many times I've told you. It's just so many now. How do you not understand? Why don't you get it? Ah, no! I worked day after day after day to plant those flowers and then you come to hurt them over and over. I'll make you understand. The flowers rage. Well, all right then. We're fine. Absolutely fine. Can we stop the flowers now? Okay, no, we can't, but, yeah. So yeah, basically, don't, don't. We also, I think, no, don't huh? step in the flowers, why? I'm not trying to step in the flowers. But I think we took a little bit of damage when she's annoyed at us, maybe, I think. I could just be crazy. I'm very good at being slightly crazy. Tough, I don't think I need tough. I don't think I need a full restore either. We just do a, one of those, and maybe a roasted apple, or baked apple. We're doing pretty well on food at the moment, now. I have to walk through this very carefully tree while you're on my way. And figure out a way through this maze of flowers. Oh, but there's also you here, who makes me slash at things, which means danger for the flower. Okay, just put that away. Be very careful. Definitely very careful. Oh my goodness, there's more. Oh, my spear broke. That's not good, because spears are pretty... Okay, I have another spear. Spears are probably recommended for this bit, so you don't accidentally, um... Ruin your day. Okay, there's a hearty radish over there. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh my goodness. Why are you behind me? Oh my goodness. Can I just shoot you? Oh, I can't, though. Oh! Don't... Don't, Link. Don't. Oh, is that actually not... Okay, that doesn't break him. Okay, well... This is actually... Where am I looking? Camera, please. This is actually something else. This is a big hearty radish. Bigger and better. Big hearty radish. This hearty radish has grown much larger than the average radish. It's rich in analeptic compounds that, when cooked into a dish, temporarily, temporarily increase your maximum hearts. That's probably good if you want to just have one hearty thing in a meal, because it probably gives you even more extra hearts, but it's still going to give you a full heal since it's a hearty, hearty thing. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, there we go, let's activate the shrine. Okay, we still can't walk on the the flowers though, so what we could do is just climb up. I think you can climb up this, right? Am I crazy? I might be- oh, Don't fall on the flowers! Okay, I'm fine. Cool. Let's go in. Drifting! Okay. Like, do I have to wait for purple sparks or... What, what am I doing here? Well, I guess I have to just wait for this raft thing to come to me, then I can- Oh! Then I can get out of the water and try again. Okay, well, what I can do is put ice 
there. That's not what I was trying to do. Why? Let me try that again. Let me put that one there. And that one there. That one there. And then, theoretically speaking, when they respawn and go through, if I wait enough time... Oh my goodness, they're so slow. I could probably just use the last one and not even worry about the other two. Oh my goodness, they're in line. You can just push them out of line and then they just work. Also, I think there's a chest in the water that I probably want to bring out of the water. Just gonna drop that there. Let's open it. Opal, thank you. Is there anything else I should know about? I should probably activate my Sheikah sensor for treasure chest so I know if I'm missing any. There's one that way and none that way. Cool. Good to know. Oh, it's right there. Um. Oh, there's also bombs in the water. Let me do that. Grab that. Some ice arrows, but I think what I need to do is throw a bomb over there. I could just let it ride the stream, the current, like everything else. But I can also just not even worry about it. Can I really not just get up that? That's annoying. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let me get rid of those before they become a problem. I think they're a problem. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? this what, what is this? Ow. Anyway, so what you're meant to do is probably let the, um, let the water, you know, take things, make them float down it. But, nah. Oh my goodness, let me out of the water. Did I get all the chests already? Yes, I did. Cool. Good. Great. Okay. We're done. That was just such a ridiculous way to do that. Okay, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, now that that's done, I can just... Never mind. Well, at least you bring me over here. Is this really worth my time? Thank you for answering my question, at least. You know, I wish that these, uh, this uh, shrine wasn't difficult to leave, because otherwise it would probably be good for teleporting to, to get around the place, maybe. But nope. The game is just not that kind. Okay, how's my health looking? Oh my gosh, I'm fine. Didn't even hurt. Doesn't even sting anymore. Okay, well anyway. We can actually use a raw... I don't have a, say, the, the leaf. I don't have a leaf. I don't have leaf. I don't have leaf. I don't believe this. Um... I, I can probably just swim across the river, but also I can blow up a tree, right? I can blow up a tree, right? Don't break the flowers. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Iron Shroom. More more Iron Shroom. And a Korok Leaf. Oh wow, I actually have space in my inventory for it and everything. Cool. That makes things easier. Let's head over to the raft now. And actually use it, because we haven't actually used the raft yet. So. Let's just stand on this. And then, aim where we want to go basically into the sail and just keep swinging our cork leaf to make it go in the direction 
Just like that. It's so easy. But also, why would you need this, I guess? We don't really need it, so anyway. Let's just hop onto a jack again. And let's keep on moving. I think I probably want to go across this bridge over this way. For now. Okay. Oh, there's somebody on the bridge who's fighting something as well. Oh no! Oh, I don't have a bow equipped. That's a pity, isn't it? Goodbye. Don't you shoot my horse! Don't, don't, don't you shoot my horse! Ow, don't shoot me either. There we go. Jack's alright by the looks of it. Probably should give him some apples to pay him back for that. Hey you. I like watching the river flow by. Is that such a crime? Seeing the water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the great calamity really happened. Then monsters attack out of nowhere. And I think, alright, time to head back to the sables. Uh, whatever. Really not gonna reward me from help for helping you? How dare you? You insult me. I'm gonna grab out some apples for Jack. Probably just two. And it might be a good idea to heal myself as the, at the same time. I don't think I actually needed to heal or help Jack with food, but it kind of kind of feels fair after that. Octrock hit him with a rock. There we go. Now that all that's done, let's keep going forward. Now let's find out what's over in this direction because I think... I think I want to go this way, right? If this is where I think I'm going... No, I need to head... No, I'm, I'm, I'm basically going the right way, but I'm just... Not going the way I usually go, which is... Just jumping out of... Kakariko, really. Just jumping out the side and running over the hills. So peaceful. Aegis Bridge. I don't know if I need to know about anything here. Hopefully not, because I really don't know. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Why? Okay, I'm gonna leave Jack there, I think, because I don't think that's supposed to happen. Let me just leave Jack there and have him teleport back to the stable at some point. And if I call him, does that bring him over? No, Jack's not able to come. Why, game? Really? That's so rude. Is this a Korok? No, these are something else entirely. These are like mini stone taluses. They're like, they're called pebblets, I believe, so. Let me just blow those up. They do drop ores still, so that's still pretty good. But I shouldn't need need it, so just avoiding them is probably better. But if you if you want materials to sell, that's the thing to do. Okay, I think I'm gonna head to my map now and mark a few things as what I'm going to. So let's mark that. That's probably the first thing I want to go to, and then that. And then I'm probably going to also change that. I don't think I want to go there. I think I want to go over here is where that's supposed to be. But I'm actually just going to mark that as star, I guess. Or maybe the cooking pot. I'll mark it as cooking pot. I also want to go to this tower, I think. So let's mark that as yellow. So that's the order I want to do things. Red, blue, and then yellow. Okay. Let's just follow along this road. There's a lot of malice over there, I feel like there's going to be something in the middle of it that I need to actually have a look at, but... That's probably something I can have a look at at a later time. There's just so much stuff to do. So I'll... Probably do as much of it as I can. Now, I wish I could see more of the minimap. But it looks like I don't need to, because it looks like I'm heading to where I need to be anyway. So, I think what I'm going to try and do actually is go back up this way. I usually just glide from Kakariko to the shrine where the red, the red marker is. 
so that's normal, I guess. But I guess I can just glide down. No, this isn't going to get me anywhere near where I need to be. But this place down here is really cool looking, so I'm just going to be going through it somewhat normally. I believe there's a few Koroks around here as well that I should keep an eye out for. Oh, there's also that. That's a bit of a problem, but I think I can handle it. Although I might want to change my weapon as well. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. I missed. Got him. I think I actually got a critical hit in on him, but it wasn't really good enough. Anyway, this is a whiz robe. Or specifically, a lightning whiz robe, so we need to be careful about that. Oh, he's moving around. He can shoot a light lightning at us, I guess. Which can make us drop some of our weapons. But I beat him too quickly, so it doesn't matter anyway. Let me just... Can I throw this Korok Leaf? No, I can't. I have to actually drop it. Like I'm really... For words, it's just died in my mouth. Let's take a picture of the Korok Leaf. Let's also take a picture of the... The Wizro's weapon called the Lightning Rod. Let's actually pick that up because we can actually use it. A magical rod that shoots balls of electricity. Its gem contains lightning from the Hyrule Hy Hy Hills. It's not recommended to use as a melee weapon. No, it is not. Sorry. If we do that, it sends out a little electric ball. They bounce off of things once I actually hit it and bounce around. It's kind of like the orb things from portal which is kind of cool but anyway it's not the best weapon and it will break fairly quickly but for now let's just go with that ah uh, and let's go get to the shrine I think some of this water is I guess most of this water is all right but there's a little path thing that we can follow with these so somewhat submerged like raft type things oh there's a Ooh, there. A water buffalo. That's the one. Just gonna take a picture of that. I don't think I've ever seen a water buffalo in this game. There's just so much in this game that you don't even see it all. Oh, got him. I'm sorry, duck. Duck. I'm sorry, duck. Oh, there's also a new type of enemy over there. A Lizalfos. Well, Lizalfos. They can be slightly annoying. They have faster movements and a lot more ranged attacks. But so do I at the moment. So let me try going a little bit insane and taking it on. Oh, Lightning Rod is badly damaged. Oh, we just killed it instantly. Cool. Lizalfos Horn. This winding horn once grew atop the head of a Lizalfos. It's too hard to use for cooking, but stores are willing to buy it for from you. It can also be used to make elixirs. So it looks like um, selling that is primary use of that. Lizalbo, a wooden bow created by Lizalfos. It's reinforced by the bones of a large fish. A marked improvement over any standard wooden bow. Okay. Anyway, the shrine's not that far away. But I think that is also it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.